Looks like Daniel found a new brother. <laughs> no kidding. He dumped me like a rock. I'm glad you two came along. It's great that Chris found a new friend out here. <laughs> it looks like you did too. What's her name? Who? <sighs> Come on, don't play me. That cutie you were talking to by the market. Oh, yeah, that girl. She was cool. You too quick. Ah, anyway, got ya. <laughs> it's good for me to get out too. We've had a rough time over the past couple of years. My wife Emily, she died two years ago. Obviously, it was tough on Chris. Shit. I'm sorry, man. Thanks. It's been a struggle, especially trying to be a good dad. Do you have some kind of problems? I'm just not the man I was. I shouldn't have even brought this up, you know, just forget it. No worries. Didn't mean to make you feel bad. Uh, hey, how long are you staying at your grandparents? I don't know. Depends on how long Stephen and Claire will put up with us. Well, they stopped by yesterday. They really seem to care about Chris. But I'm afraid they get the wrong idea sometimes. Claire threatens to call social services. That's true. We are not your usual, pretty happy, suburban family model. But I know things haven't always been good for the Reynolds either. Yeah, my... My mom left my dad a long time ago. She... Never came back. She broke all ties with her parents, too. Sorry for bringing that up. It's okay. I hope they don't stress out because we haven't come back. Uh, yeah, we should get you two home. Uh, don't keep them waiting. Yeah. <laughs> hey, buddy. Uh, wanna set up that Christmas tree? Yeah! Well, I'll get there before you with my dad will <laughs> No way you can be Captain Spirit. <laughs> See you later, Super Wolf. Hello? Hello? Claire? Steven? Looks like Grandma and Grandpa haven't come back from church yet. Well, at least they won't yell at us for going out. That was so cool to spend time with Chris at the market. Did you know Chris's mom was an artist? I didn't. How so? She drew comics. You should see her drawings. They're so cool. Just like yours. Thanks, dude. Hey. Uh... What? What is it? Sean? I want to go check on the room. Upstairs. I know it's Mom's. Please. Daniel, you heard Claire. They will freak out if they know we went inside. We won't tell them. We'll be in total stealth mode. 
They won't know anything if we make it quick. It's just, I really want to know what's inside. What kind of stuff she had. Chris has tons of things that belong to his mom. And I have nothing. Come on, Sean. You don't even have to come with me if you don't want to. <sighs> Fuck it. I'll come with you so you don't make a mess and get us caught. The door is still locked. We'll find a way to open it. Sean, this is super easy. I can just break the lock with my power. <sighs> yeah, I could do that with a hammer. But let's try and find the key instead, all right? I'm just gonna clean up real quick. Sharp objects. <laughs> Bit like Claire. Locked drawer. Maybe the key to Karen's room is inside. Dude, hurry. <laughs> Who knew this sweet little muffin would turn into such a brat? <laughs> Still super cute, though. <laughs> Love the outfits, guys. <sighs> Man, they look so different. Yeah, no. No way I'm searching Claire's underwear. <sighs> Come on, little key. Don't be shy. <sighs> How much more Irish can you be? Definitely not the one. Way too small. Wonder what would have been different if Dad had taken us to church. Didn't know Claire had sleep troubles. I guess it kind of makes sense. Sean, hurry up. I might come back any minute. Yes, Daniel. I know. Okay, Stephen. Where do you hide this key? I don't really see Stephen listening to old school pop rock music. Yeah, not much to see in here. Shit, these are Christmas presents? Let's not tell Daniel, or he'd freak. Clothes, old stuff, but definitely no hidden key. Sean! I saw Grandma... Whoa. I'm just looking for a key. Not the crown jewels. Ew. Are these... milk teeth? I'm not sure if it's gross or cute. But still, no key here. Daniel, you really think you could open this door without doing too much damage? Yes, I know I can. Yep, it's empty. Ah. Uh. Okay, Daniel. Uh, 
Think hard. <sighs> Come on, little key. Don't be shy. Wonder what would have been different if Dad had taken us to church. Didn't know Claire had sleep troubles. I guess it kind of makes sense. Karen hated collecting trinkets. She used to say they were just useless dust traps. Karen's smile on this picture kind of reminds me of Daniel's. Would be cool to ask Stephen about his firefighting career. He would, that would have been really useful when we lived in the woods. Small town hero starter pack. <laughs> Shit. Wish I had the chance to find my thing too. Come on, where is this cardigan? No way she wore it to church. <sighs> okay, Stephen, where do you hide this key? <sighs> we clearly don't share politics, but at least Stephen doesn't preach. Yeah, not much to see in here. Found one key, so it better fit. Just try it. Wow. There's not that much left. Where do you think they put the rest of her stuff? Claire and Steven must have thrown a lot of it away. The rest is probably packed in these boxes. Sean? What do you think happened to all the stuff in my room? I miss my music. When we left. I'm sure everything's still there. Like we left it. Okay. I think it's not plugged. Okay, Daniel. You've seen everything you wanted to see? Clear? I miss my skateboard. And going to the park. I think I saw a moon eclipse once. Before Daniel was born. Never been a big fan of hiking. But here I was, walking my way down to Mexico. Karen liked to take pictures of strangers when we walked down the streets. Hmm, so that's how mom used to smell? This playlist is boring as hell. <sighs> Man, that pen pal sure loved listening to her own voice.
Because the no phone rule wasn't such a thing back then. Because they made them sad. Yeah. Dad did the same thing too. Never seen any picture of mom in our home. What the fuck is wrong with this? Oh. Hiding spot. <laughs> Smart. <sighs> so. Karen was already serious about running away. Why did you wait that long? Read a lot of these in the 10th grade. <sighs> Yawn. Hope you enjoyed your trips. So you didn't bail on us for nothing. <sighs> I don't recognize any of these games. Did she tell you why she left? <sighs> she told Dad and... Dad told me. He told you too. Right. All he ever said to me was she wasn't so sure what she wanted with her life. Well, Hi, Teddy. I guess she finally figured it out. Because she never looked back. And we have to do the same thing, too. I know. Well, figures Karen was already looking for an exit. So, you were a friend of my mommy's? I hope- Yeah. You finally left forever. Coward. She took good care of you. Is that an amethyst? She was into New Age bullshit. These pictures are so... random. Did she take you with her when she went on trips? Oh. They looked happy. How could she send all of this to hell? They want to forget anything related to Karen. <laughs> I can relate. You're not that fluffy anymore, little bear. These letters look pretty recent. It's like she almost never used those. Why would Claire lock these up in here? Is that for mom? Huh? Let me see. Daniel. Come on. What's it say? Read it. Seriously, stop. Here. How about this? I've heard the news about Seattle. Please help my boys if they come to you. What? Why did they hide this from us? I don't know. You can reach me at, at this address. It's a P.O. box I use sometimes. What's a P.O. box? Well, a cop-out in this case. I beg you, please help my sons. Oh yeah, right. Total bullshit. What do you mean? She cares about us. Well, I don't. Maybe she changed her mind. We could try and contact her. You don't even know her, okay? Don't get any wrong ideas. We should just stick to our plan. For now. 
Can I read it again? Yeah. Then we gotta go. Thank goodness. Oh. Oh, shit. Excuse me. What are you both doing in here? Except visibly. Ransacking our house while we're at church? Claire, we're sorry. But we just wanted to... No one ever told you that everything you say before a butt has no value? You know you shouldn't be in here. Claire, please, calm down. No, Stephen. They went way out of line here. We specifically told you to stay out of this room. I just wanted to see my mom stop. This isn't her room anymore. There is nothing to see in here. It's time you learn to respect some rules. You... You lied to us! We found Mommy's letter! She wants to see us! She's not my daughter anymore. Or your mother. She burned all those bridges. One letter doesn't change what she did to me. All of us. She is not welcome back. It's been eight years. Maybe it's time to move on. Don't you dare lecture me, Sean. You don't know anything about how I feel. I can't hear that. <sighs> Listen, Sean. I know life has been tough on you the past month. Bless your souls. And, and we put up with a lot of things. But that going through our stuff, our personal belongings, well, that shows you don't respect us. Then you act like I'm the bad guy after what we've done for you. I knew something like this might happen. Maybe you two staying here wasn't such a good idea. Man, I think I see why Mom left now. She couldn't put up with your stupid rules anymore. Oh, so that's what you think. Then let me tell you something. Huh? <gasps> Steven! Oh, shit! Get this goddamn thing off me! Steven, no! Hold on, honey, we'll get it off! No! Stop! Oh, my legs! Do it, Daniel! Now! Do what? What's going on? Oh, Lord, what? What are you doing, Daniel? My baby, Stephen, are you okay? No, I am. Thanks to Daniel. You were right, Claire. I should have fixed that cupboard months ago. I guess my laziness will get me someday. What in the name of God was that all about? That's impossible. What are you, Daniel? Claire. Listen, they saved me, Claire. That's all that matters. Maybe. It was a miracle. Oh, thank you, Lord. It's, it's the sheriff. Stephen? Claire? Sean, I didn't. We didn't call them. I know, Grandma. Sean, what are we gonna do? Go hide in the garage. No, no, no way. If the police searches the house, that makes the two of you accomplices. Get your bags and go out the back door. I'll distract him. Really? Yes. No. 
get the hell out of here. I know you're in here. Your car is in the driveway. <laughs> so sorry for everything. I wish we could have helped you more. I wish you could stay here with us. Watch out for your brother, Sean. Yes. Be careful. We'll see you as soon as we can, okay? Thanks for helping us. Both of you. Oh, we love you. Now hurry up. Daniel, wait for me while I go upstairs. Why? Why did Chris jump in front of that car, Sean? Why? He's okay, Enano. The car barely touched him. You... You said I should be more careful. But... Because of you. I didn't do anything, and... I could have. Hey. You don't know what could have happened, okay? What's done is done. <sighs> you didn't even let me check on him. What if he is... dead? Daniel, we don't know that, okay? So... Stop jumping into conclusions. We'll catch up on him as soon as we can. I... I... But... But I need to know. You will. Just... Later. When it's safe. Sean... I'm tired of running away. I don't want to be a superhero anymore. You don't have to use your power if you don't want to. I know, but... sometimes... I can help, and... how do I know when to use it? You don't. You can only trust your guts. And... listen to your brother. You think we'll see Grandma and Grandpa again? I don't know. We'll see. Where are we gonna go now? See... See, Mom? No way, man. We don't need her, okay? But... She said she wanted to find us. We stick to the plan. We go to Puerto Lobos. That's where we belong. No one will tell us what to do. We can be whoever we want. You, you think... I don't know. Trust me, man. From now on, 
We make our own rules. Look, I wanted to wait until then, but we kind of need a little cheer, so. Merry Christmas, Inanna. For me? Thanks, Sean. Hey. Listen. There's a ride. Come on. All aboard. So, this is it? Yeah. It looks like a nettle field. And it stinks. <laughs> yeah. 
and your stinky feet will cover the smell. Shut up! They don't! Come on. I'll show you around. 